The most basic edit you can do is the cut, which is simply going from one shot to another, changing perspective, advancing the story. Now I'm gonna be showing you a series of examples that help illustrate the types of cuts that I'm about to mention. A lot of these cuts are so common and feel so natural that you don't even think about it. Whoa, what, what's up in there? Doesn't matter, you can do whatever you want. But if you wanna make your cuts a little less jarring, let's begin with a technique that's used all the time. Cutting on action. Now all this means is cutting from one shot to another while the subject is still in motion. It doesn't always have to be on a punch or a kick. It could be something as simple as a character turning or throwing something or a character going through a door or another door or another door. I'm through. Then there's the cutaway which I can best describe as cutting to an insert shot of something and then back. The insert could exist in the same space as the characters. You want the moon? Like this. Just say the word and I'll throw a lasso around it and pull it down. Hey, that's a pretty good idea. <laughs> or you can use a cutaway to get inside the head of a character. I'm Last night I was... Cross-cutting. This is when the editor intercuts back and forth between locations. For example, most phone conversations are usually cross-cut, and when used effectively, cross-cutting can certainly amp up the tension and suspense of a sequence. This technique is also used to show what's going on inside the character's head. Don't move. I don't want you to cut your own throat. Jump cuts are when the editor cuts between the same shot. And they are often used to deliberately show the passing of time. And that looks like this. So you can naturally find these in montages. Here's a few examples. Let go of me! Don't! Jump cuts are also used to add a level of urgency to the scene. <laughs> and there's a lot of jump cuts in baseball. Now let's move on to the match cut. Match cuts look like this. Come on guys, let's get to work. Yeah. Match cuts are often incorrectly referred to as jump cuts. However, there is a difference. A match cut cuts from one shot to a similar shot by either matching the action or the composition. Match cuts are mainly used as scene transitions because you're often jumping from one place to another, which is most likely why there's confusion on the matter. Match cuts don't always have to be visual either. There's also verbal match cuts, like this. That looks just like an enormous... Wang! Pay attention! I was distracted by that enormous flying... Willie! Yeah. What's that? Well, it looks like a giant... Johnson! Smash cut! Smash cuts are abrupt transitions. The obvious example is someone waking up from an intense dream or a nightmare. <laughs> Going from something intense to quiet, or quiet to intense. I shot my way out. Everybody started shooting, so I blasted my way out of there. <laughs> Well, the gun is half done. Then there's the invisible cut. Invisible cuts are used to give the impression of a single take. However, cuts are hidden in blackness, like in Hitchcock's Rope, or Evil Dead 2. And most recently, Birdman. Cuts are also hidden within whip pans where you can hide the cut on the motion of the camera movement. 
Here are a few examples. I'm back. Perfect timing. As you know, endorsed by the PTA and the North American Teachers Foundation. We're coming to get you, Barbara! An editor might also hide a cut with an object crossing the frame. Or you can hide a cut when the subject leaves the frame. This is my favorite example because it's pretty seamless unless you know what you're looking for. Just like any good magic trick. So there's an invisible cut hidden right here. This shot was cleverly designed to make it appear as if Paul Newman was actually doing those card tricks. But really, he can't. Now let's move on to something else. to left cheek. I'm leaving you in command of the Enterprise. Once we have transport capability, communications back up, you'll contact Starfleet, report what the hell's going on here. And if all else fails, fall back, rendezvous with the fleet in the Laurentian system. The third ticket was found by Miss Violet Beauregard.